Arezzo, Battista Carafa of Elba, Junior Costa of Florence, Carlo Canale of Cervia, Antonio Moderna of Mantua, Gino Cresta of Florence, Arturo Fantoni of Padua, Giacomo Chiesa of De Luca, Junior Costa of Florence, Carlo Canale of Cervia, Antonio Moderna of Mantua, Giorgio Fregosi of Bernio, Carlo Canale of Cervia. Yeah, uh, bring me the list. not enough rope in all of Florence to dispose of these villains. We'll declare a holiday and hang them in the piazza. <laughs> Bronzio, Bronzio. Is that the Borgian whelp? Hmm. We cannot hang a Borgia. There are other means. Yes, so there are, Polverino. We'll put hot eggs under his armpits. We'll soak his feet in salt water and allow the goats to lick them, after which his ears will be severed. If he survives our hospitality, there are other pleasures with which we can regale him. You have our permission to withdraw. There, Ottaviano, are some necks for you to play with. The council is dismissed. There are other matters, Your Excellency. What other matters? The case of Benvenuto Cellini. What, Cellini again? What's he done now? Another murder, Your Excellency? Who is it this time? A nobleman in Venice. Venice? Why does he have to kill Venetians? Haven't we got enough people right here? This time he must be punished. There's only one punishment for him, Your Excellency. Don't prompt me. I know what I'm doing. Just because you happen to have a personal grievance against the man. Oh, this isn't a personal matter, Your Excellency. Oh, oh I know. Because he's been clever enough to outwit you at times. You, 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 yes. <laughs> Why doesn't he tend to his own business? After all, there's no artist like him. Why does he have to go around murdering people? There's only one punishment for him, Your Excellency. There you go again. Am I the Duke of Florence or am I not the Duke of Florence? Are you the Duke of Florence or is Cellini the Duke of Florence? Who is the Duke of Florence? I'd like to know. An Excellency, the Duchess of Florence. An Excellency, the Duchess of Florence. An Excellency, the Duchess of Florence. We've been discussing grave matters of state, my lady. Mine too is a grave matter of state, my lord. Where are the golden service plates? The golden service plates? I don't know. That's I your Excellency. I can suggest... You can suggest nothing. What, what, what plates, my dear? The Duchess of Milan arrives on Monday. For that occasion, I've ordered golden service plates. Well, if Milady entrusted Cellini with the commission, heaven knows if they'll ever be finished. Cellini? What, Cellini again? Am I never to be rid of this scoundrel? I, this is no time to discuss such matters, my dear. Is this my is dear? just the time to discuss it, my lord. Are we to be forced to eat from troughs like pigs because some goldsmith neglects his duties? You should have forced him to do I it. I should have. Certainly you should have forced him. I, I should have. No well, like, uh, what am I? There's no... Uh, oh, this is very upsetting. I, gentlemen, the council is dismissed. We uh, have... Uh, well, it's dismissed. You should have forced him to work, even at the point of a sword. Must everything be left to me? Am I responsible because Cellini neglects his duties? Because he, he runs around murdering people? There were certain activities of Cellini in Venice more grievous than murder. More grievous than murder? What could be more grievous than murder? At this very moment, an emissary from the Doge, Francesco Pascari, awaits you. Uh, an emissary await? I mean, you mean uh, he, uh, waiting? Well, what for? To demand of Your Excellency an apology. An apology? Well, I... Uh, oh, yes, of course, for the murder of that Venetian. Oh, no. Another reason. Shall I have him brought in? Well, uh, yes, I suppose so. Cavalier Baudini, emissary of His Highness Doge Francesco Foscari of Venice. Yes, we, we bid you welcome, Cavalier Bordini. The, uh, the, this lady, the... Your Excellency, is the youngest daughter of the royal house of Parci. I would that I might spare the mention of her name. Ah, 
The, uh, the Royal House of Sin? Uh, uh, I think, milady, you'd better go. I choose to remain. Huh? Oh, uh, yes, well, uh, milady chooses to remain. But you can go. There's no sense in your stand. Well, what is it? Must I speak, Your Excellency? Well, I, naturally. I mean, how, otherwise, how should we ever... I mean, if, it's, uh, if someone's been insulted, uh, we've got uh, There's... Yes, well, what is it? Come, come, my child. You must not be frightened. I was seated in the garden of my father's palace. The moon was high. The perfume of flowers filled the air. I sat there dreaming of my prince. Oh. Someone you know? Just my prince. All girls dream of a prince, you know. Oh, is that so? Well, I never knew that. It's quite customary with young girls. Oh, yes, so it is. Proceed. Of a sudden, he appeared, like a wraith in the moonlight. He who? This monster Cellini. Don't interrupt. He appeared from where? Over the garden wall. I think he was being pursued. You should have screamed for help. I tried to scream. But my voice failed me. I tried to flee. I was powerless to move. His eyes, they held me. I was as one hypnotized. He, he hypnotized you? What did he then do? He read to me. Read to you? He, he hypnotized you and then he read to you? Well, this all sounds very silly to me. Alessandro. Your Excellency must hear further. Very well. He read to you. From a book, I suppose. A small book. Gold it was, encrusted with jewels. Yes, well, never mind about the book. What did he read? A poem. With words such as only Venus and Adonis might have spoken on their bridal night. Drop those luscious lips to mine. Those ripe, those coral lips of thine. Give me soft, a velvet kiss. The cadence of his voice wove about me a magic spell. I must have swooned. I don't know. I don't care. You forced me to come here. I've told my story, so boo. It's my own affair. He can come over my garden wall any time he wants to. Your Excellency, this is... This is very unexpected. I, I, I must apologize for this intrusion. Oh, no, it's quite all right. It was no bother. I do understand that this ugly, squat little goldsmith holds such fascination for women. Oh, he's not ugly. Oh, I'm afraid Milady mistakes Cellini for his apprentice. His apprentice? I have been dealing with his apprentice? How dare he? It's Cellini's boast that he ignores all ethics and law. Yes, uh, he runs around hypnotizing people. Uh, that's a terrible thing to do. How can any woman be safe with such a creature around? Uh, he's carrying things a little too far. I mean, he must be punished. I'm afraid that perhaps we'll have to hang him. Then Milord agrees to his execution? Yes, I'm afraid so. We must. I mean, it's too bad. He does make such pretty things. Wait a minute, my lord. Perhaps it would be better to temper justice with wisdom. But, milady. I am thinking of the golden plates. Are we to be outshone by the Duchess of Milan? After all, he's murdered no one of great importance. Oh, I know, but that's not the point. I mean, he might suddenly make up his mind. I mean, how can you tell? Oh, I agree with my lord. Is you always agreeing? Why don't you... We must handle this matter with great shrewdness, Alessandro. First, he shall complete the plates. Then we shall hang him. The finish of his handiwork will mark the beginning of his doom. Yes! <laughs> Neatly said. <laughs> the, the, the finish of his... shall begin at the doom. <laughs> That's very good, Ottaviano. Yes, my lord. Yes. Remember, Alessandro, you have made your decision. Yes. But is your excellency going to allow this... I have made my decision. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> doom. <laughs> I, the finish is the beginning of his doom. <laughs> I mean, he finishes the plates and we finish him. <laughs> you, what? Your Excellency. Yes. What? I bring a message from your nephew, the Count Mafio. Eh? Where is he? In bed, with two leeches on his nose to reduce the swelling. Leeches? Well, go on, speak up. Well, we were passing the Duomo when suddenly we were set upon. We attempted to draw, but our assailant knocked the sword out of Count Mafio's hand. 
and sent me sprawling into the gutter. Then the wretch leaped upon Count Mafio's back, forcing his face into the filth of the street. <laughs> Why should he do that? Because he claimed the Count Mafia had once called him a detestable little fly that should be exterminated. And he said that while the Count Mafio was not big enough to exterminate him, he would give him the opportunity of exterminating any other fly in Florence. And that's what happened. What do you mean, what happened? He actually forced the Count Mafio to swallow two live flies. Oh, two. But you've not yet named this assailant. Benvenuto Cellini, Your Excellency. Who's the assassin? How dare he lay hands on a de' Medici, my own nephew? This is the end. I mean, plates or no plates. Duchess or no duchess. I mean, we've got to hear. Ottaviano, get the guard. Ottaviano, do something. Guard. Where's my armor? I want my sword. Someone... Oh, yes, here it is. Never mind. <laughs> Has something happened, Master? Has something happened? Isn't something always happening? Today it was Mafio. How Mafio? Ah, uh, pig Mafio. I changed his diet. You didn't dare touch a de Medici. There are many de Medici. There is only one Cellini. Men like myself never happen twice. Anyway, I closed his scurrilous mouth with appropriate spider food. You must flee, Master. From spiders? They attacked me in the streets, two of them. One I killed, Miss Mafio, I dined, and then I hung a ruby necklace on him that will not wear off for many a day. You killed him? I don't know. I was forced to flee. I left my dagger sticking in his throat. But you're wearing your dagger. Are you trying to make me out a liar? Have you finished the plates? Yes, Master. Hey, you botcher. You fool. Will you never learn? These aren't even good enough for the stupid old duke. Now get out, before I fix you a crown that won't come off. I guess I was sleeping. Of course you were. I've been waiting all morning. Have you, my Angela? Are we modeling today? Time enough for that tomorrow. Well, then I might as well go home. Must I see you only when I have a chisel in my hand? Do you never think that I'm a man as well as an artist? Mother says not to. Oh, blast the old hag. Yes, sir. Say, yes, benvenuto. Yes, benvenuto. I've been making bobbin lace all morning. You haven't looked at my bobbin lace. Yeah, I am looking, my Angela. You're not looking at my bobbin work. Try to understand, my Angela. There is time for bobbin work and there is time for love. But they never mix, my Angela. Look at me. Look at me. But I am looking. Are you stone? Marble? Alabaster? What is alabaster? Do you know that I'm mad about your hair? Your eyes? Do you know that I'm jealous that nature and not I created you? Oh, Angela. Why did you have to come into my life at its very end? 
Is your life going to end? Yes. Tomorrow I shall be wearing a hempen necklace. Tomorrow Cellini, the artist, will be kicking at the gates of Hades. Today, Cellini, the man, would have a glimpse of heaven. You mustn't come near oh, me. Awaken, my Angela. You go through life as if you were a dream in a dream. You are like flowing gold, ready to be shaped into a woman. You frighten me. I love you like an angel. I love you like a man. My mother has forbidden oh, me. Oh, drat your mother. You must think as I think and do as I do. Aha! 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 So, she must think as you think and do as you do, huh? Yes, and you're not going to stop it. Get your things. We're going home. She's not leaving. She is. She's not. She is. You're not leaving, my Angela. The old hag agreed that you were to stay until my work was finished. Hag? Hag? You dare call me that to my face? Your face? That thing you wear can't possibly be your face. Mm, may you be blasted inch by inch. I've noticed of late that you've been growing a beard. You really shouldn't do it. It doesn't become you. May you be strung by your thumb. Well, let's cease these compliments and talk business. Mm, you dare ask that my daughter... You have no daughter. You have a property that I'm willing to buy for my model. Didst thou make this man, who has so little respect for the feelings of a mother, than to put things so plainly? Fifty ducats. Fifty ducats? Too much. Fifty ducats? Too much. Forty-five? No. Forty? No. Forty or nothing? Thirty ducats. Make it thirty-five. Done. Open in the name of His Excellency, the Duke of Florida. Get in there. I'll be rid of him in no time. You get your ducats. Don't worry, my little crawfish. I'll see that you get them. is more than honored by your presence. Yeah, your poor house will be more than honored by the presence of any peaceful man. Splendid, Your Excellency. Eh? Yeah. The Lord mustn't forget the purpose of his visit. Eh? Oh, yes. Eh. Eh. Time after time, we have pardoned your grave crimes on condition that you keep the peace. With all gratitude, I remember. You remember nothing. You're a... Uh, uh, this morning, in broad daylight, you dared attack and humiliate de Medici, the nephew of your ruler. Not nephew. What's happened to Count Matthew? <laughs> there you are, you see. He's not only a lot of other things, he also tells lies as well. Oh, yes, I remember now. Yes, you remember, do you? Well, Matthew gave me the insult. My fault is that I, I try to pattern myself too much after your excellency. Just to be peaceful when I am insulted. Insolence. Oh, no, come now, Taviani. You must admit that is rather neatly said. The Lord it's... forgets his oath to hang, Cellini. Eh? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, we are going to hang you. Uh, take him away. Put him in a dungeon. Put him in chains. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where are my golden service plates? I shall never be able to finish them now. What, you haven't finished them? How are we going to bank with the Duchess of Milan without plates? Why don't you tend to business instead of running around killing people? Jumping over walls and frightening young girls? Where's my chalice? Haven't you finished that either? It's uh, not yet worthy of your excellency. Well, why haven't you finished it? Where do you suppose I'm going to keep my dear cousin's ashes? I mean, I can't, there's no, where, where we've got... Uh... Oh! Uh, who are you, my child? I'm Angela. Angela? Uh, oh, yes, of course. If you're going to hang him now, Mother and I would like to leave. Uh, who is she? It's uh, a lily, my lord who has admired you from afar for many a day. In fact, uh, she was the cause of my quarrel with Matthew. Knowing you to be a connoisseur of beauty and art, I was uh, in the very act of taking her to the palace, and I was set upon by Matthew. In fact, he would have robbed you of her. Oh. 
Uh, does she uh, know who I am? No, no. I told her that you were but one of the court. Yeah. Then, uh, then it's not because I'm the Duke. Your Excellency underestimates his own charms. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, you remain. The rest of you may retire. I'll settle this in Isn't my own... Isn't the Lord going to allow this Cellini to pull the wool over his eyes? Who pulls what wool over whose eyes? Right. I'm handing this myself now. Run along. Get out. Ah. You like me, Angela? I don't know. You don't you, know? She's timid. Oh. Of course. <laughs> you don't know who I am, do you? Yes, Your Excellency. There you are. You see, she knew all the time. Now, if she did, it was only because she knew that the most royal, the most handsome, the most charming man in all Florence must be the Duke. Here. Yeah. You, uh, you've never been to the palace, have you, Angela? No, my lord. <laughs> would you like to come sometime? No, sir. I mean, I don't think so, Your of Excellency. Of course she would. Of course she would. She doesn't know what she's saying, Your Excellency. What's that? I am her mother, Your Excellency. There must be some mistake. She looks like a goat. There's a marked resemblance. Hey, come here. Me? No, 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 the other one. Yeah, that's far enough. Poverty now. She, uh, she's rather pretty, isn't she? Yes, my lord. <laughs> She'd make a rather excellent addition to the court, don't you think? Yes, my lord. <laughs> the other ladies of the court are so very ugly. Yes, my lord. Do you, uh, the Duchess uh, won't be at the summer palace tonight, eh? The whole court has moved officially to the winter palace, my lord. Oh, yes, yes, of course. You're sure? Yes, my lord. Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah, yes, well, you arrange everything. Yes, my lord. <laughs> yes. Oh, one moment. Uh, we needn't mention this little matter to the Duchess. No, my lord. Come with me. You're not going, my Angela. Who says she's not going? I don't want to go. Yes, you do, my little form. Yes, of course you do. Come but, along. But, but she's my model, Your Excellency. Well, go get another model. Come along, come along. <laughs> yes, there you are. <laughs> Besides, I'm going to hang you. At least I haven't changed my mind. And you've got work to do. You've got to finish those plates. We've got people coming to dinner. I hope the food is worthy of the plates. What's that? I hope the plates are worthy of the food, Your Excellency. Yes, I don't believe that's what you said at all. You... Uh, uh, oh, well, however. Angela. My Angela. Tell me all the dukes in Christendom rot in Hades. Careful, Master. He might come back. I hope he does come back. You better lock that door. Welcome again, Ottaviano. Have you forgotten something? I'm not as careless in such matters as you are. Do you recognize this kerchief? Oh, very pretty, isn't it? That's your best kerchief, Master. Where'd he find it? Ask your master where he left it. And very pretty she is, too, Ottaviano. Though a bit on the plumpish side. You think yourself safe because the Duke has pardoned you. Well, I haven't. I wouldn't be too careless with that blade, my friend. Whoever destroys Cellini before the plates are finished in turn destroys himself. You wouldn't look too handsome swinging at the end of a rope. I've provided against that emergency also. Gentlemen, it would grieve me very deeply if anything were to happen to my friend Cellini. It would further grieve me if any of these beautiful works of art were to be destroyed. Especially the model for a chalice, of which my friend is very fond. Gentlemen, I leave him to your tender mercies. Good day. Come on, you, my friends. 
The arm is strong and the steel is sharp. I regret, my lady, that my house is not in order. So you are, Cellini. And this is your workshop? At times, my lady. Unless you are busy murdering people other places. A man must protect his honor. And women, I suppose, must protect themselves. My lady speaks in riddles. And this also, I suppose, is part of your workshop? The nature of my work, my lady, requires of necessity a great deal of room. Mm, so I understand. And a great deal of territory. Oh, my lady. You see, Cellini, I am quite well acquainted with your reputation. I warn you, however, don't use any of your hypnotic glances on me. Such a thought would never enter my mind, my lady. Indeed, am I to understand, then, that the Duchess of Florence is not so attractive as these doe-like simpletons of Venice? My lady misconstrues my words. It is because you are my Duchess that I dare not even raise my eyes to you, much less my thoughts. Bring me my purse, please. Did you not hear me? I am not a retriever, my lady. I command you. Your command is law. And what would you have done if I had not been your duchess? I hesitate to answer, my lady. I command you to answer. Again you command? I would have wrung your neck, my lady. Sit here. You have strong arms with which to wring fair ladies' necks, Cellini. I could have those arms torn from their sockets. I would not thwart my lady's pleasure. I could send your handsome head rolling into a basket. However, that is not the purpose of my visit. I came here to entrust you with a commission. I shall promise my best, my lady. Which should be very excellent and unusual, if all I hear is true. I wish you to make me a duplicate of this key in gold with the de' Medici crest placed here. It is a key to the balcony door leading to my apartments and is to be in the nature of a um, surprise for the Duke. I expect you to deliver it in person. Were the Duke to see me, I should be forced to explain. It would no longer be a surprise. The Duke will not see you. He is to be at the palace in Florence. This is a key to the summer palace. 
I shall expect you to deliver it about nine. About nine. Get the fires going. You gonna work in the plates, Master? And you lack wit. You can't unlock a door with a plate. against leaving at the last minute, my lady. Why? An attack of gout, my lady. Mm, there is no other reason? Well, he only confided the gout to me, my lady. You mustn't be afraid of me, Angela. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. Well, I want you to be a little afraid of me. Why? Well, I don't know. It makes me feel more... <laughs> I mean, I feel more savage. <laughs> I, I mean, what? She has arrived, Your Excellency. She has arrived? Who's arrived where? The Duchess. The Duchess? Oh, uh, oh, uh, no. Uh, here at the palace? Wolverine, oh, that woman has a sixth sense. Why can't I deceive my wife like other men do? Do you suppose she'd mind my being here? Oh, yes, I'm afraid she would. Uh, come, Wolverine, get her out. Quickly. I mean, uh, out on the balcony. Oh. Did I surprise you, Alessandro? Surprised? Uh, oh, no. I, I was afraid every moment that you... I, mean, I, I was afraid that you wouldn't get here. I, I knew you were coming. I can't keep any secrets from you, can I? Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, and look. Suffer for me. Why didn't you let me know? Oh, uh, yes. Well, I, I was expecting you sooner. And listen, music also. Thoughtful, Alessandro. <laughs> I thought music would be nice. You were so hungry that you ate both our suppers, didn't you? Yes. I, I, I mean, uh, no, uh, uh, Polvery, uh, Ottaviano joined me at supper. Hmm, strange. As I entered the palace, I saw Ottaviano on his way to the dining hall to dine with the others. Oh, you did? Oh, that fellow must have a tapeworm. Alessandro, if I saw... Oh, no, you mustn't think such things. They're very embarrassing. I do trust you, Alessandro. But isn't it time you were in bed? Oh, well, 
it's not yet nine. Yes, but I won't have a moment's rest until I know you're safely asleep. Oh, but I would like to no, stay no, up a no, little no, longer. No, no. Now remember how you suffer with your gout. Well, not just a little longer? No. Now go straight to bed. All right. Night, my dear. Sleep tight. So, you have come, Julie. Anna Clark, all well. On the very second, my lady. I feared you might find obstacles in your path too great to overcome. Obstacles are nothing, my lady. True, I swam through rivers of blood to reach you. Five of your Excellency's guards have paid with their lives, and five more lie wounded. But I would have reached my goal, my lady, even though I crawled to your feet but to die. I like that speech, Julie. I have a surprise for you. The Duke is here. Here? At the palace? Is Cellini afraid? Oh, no, 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 no. Not for myself. No, I, I, I would not compromise my Duchess. So. Your courage is composed, then, only of words. Well, what you call fear, my lady, is that little part of my soul which I call honor. Ah, that word. It is enough to turn an honest woman's stomach. Honor. It is merely a term used by men to cover their cowardice. Well, it's just as well I found you out. The tragedy of all great ladies is to discover that the men with the most exaggerated reputations make the poorest lovers. That is the reason we probably marry halfwits. Well, you've delivered the key, so now you may swim back through your rivers of blood to your workshop. You're only a goldsmith after all. You may give me the key and go. Give me the key. Perhaps I should tell the Duke you're here. Perhaps you think I won't tell him. Probably fallen downstairs again. Did you break something? Shh. Wait. If I'm going out there again, I've got to have something to do. Alessandro, open the door. Is that your wife? Alessandro, open the door. 
the door. You wait out on the balcony till I find out what this old Dido is doing. Alessandro! Alessandro, open the door, I say. have been walking in my sleep. Hmm, well, you should be more careful. Some night you'll fall off that balcony and hurt yourself. Didn't I tell you to go to bed? I'm going to fix you a sleeping potion. Oh, no, I'm all right. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? I thought the Duke was mad at you. I have come to your rescue through rivers of blood. Ten of the Duke's guards have paid with their lives. But I would have reached my goal, even though I crawled to your feet but to die. Really? Of course, my Angela. Come, we must hurry. Where are we going? Tonight, we enter paradise. You must sleep tonight, Alessandro, for my sake. I'm afraid the night air is too much for me, my lady. Mm, I'm afraid it is. Yeah. <laughs> Angela. Angela. You'd better take care of yourself too, my lady. Mm, I will. Good night, my lady. Good night, my lord. Benvenuto. my Angela, at the threshold of paradise. Go, Antonio, pipe the dawn. Tell the world that love has come to the mountaintop. Nah. And this is paradise itself. I didn't know I was coming to a dirty old place like this. But your presence makes of it a palace. It's got holes in the roof. Well, what better ceiling than the blue canopy of heaven? Mm. Those sheep smell terrible. But those are not sheep. They are princes, changed in form by witchcraft. But you, my fairy queen, will wave your magic wand and restore them to their kingdom. They're sheep and they smell terrible. Get them out of here. Oh. 
My feet hurt. And I wish I'd never left the Duke's palace. But what is a fat old duke to me? He's not fat. You've traded a dukedom for a kingdom, and I shall teach you the language of the gods. Here we shall reign, and here we shall love. <coughs> here we shall reign, and here we shall love. I shall create as I have never created before. Hark, the pipes of Pan. It is almost dawn, my Angela. Aurora in all her splendor beckons to us, but we cannot escape even if we would. My beautiful queen. Benvenuto. Yes, my love. I'm hungry. How can you think of food at a time like this? Don't yell at me. I'm not yelling at you, but I've risked my life to bring you here and you speak of food. Well, haven't you some little cakes or something? I offer you love when you ask for cakes. I don't know why I came here with you anyway. Ah! What did I ever do to you? You take me away from a nice palace with soft cushions and everything. And you bring me to a place like this with no cushions at all. Ah. Oh, I thought I was coming to a nice place. It was nice until I brought you here. The Duke probably will never want to see me again. And it's all your fault. Oh, I hang the Duke. He'll hang you. Uh. You just wait till you get back to Florence. I'm going back to Florence. I prefer death to a cold woman. The place is yours. <laughs> attention to me. I am dumb skull. Where would you go? Where would you hide? There isn't a place in all Florence you'll be safe. There is one place where Cellini will always be safe. And Cellini has the key. this come from? I don't know. Send for the captain. My lady never looked so fresh and lovely. It is not necessary to lie to me. Tell me, is this new captain of the guards as charming and as gallant as you claim him to be? Yesterday, he won all honors at the jousting matches. Hmm. You may withdraw. I wish to be alone. And uh, you might send me this captain of the guards. I have a commission for him. Are you in the habit of entering ladies' boudoirs unannounced? Surely, my lady jests. The de' Medici's are not given to jesting. Is my lady so soon forgotten last night? Because venison pleased one's palate last night does not follow that it pleases one today. Today, then, my lady calls for roasted captain of the guard. Enough of this insolence. You have made for me a key. Give it to me and go. My lady is sending me to my death. Small loss. Give me the key. Cellini prefers a thousand deaths to the displeasure of his duchess. Your words weary me.
lady. I cannot leave until you hear the truth. I have no interest. When you summoned me, my lady, I sped to you on wings of love. And on wings of love, you as quickly sped away. My lady, I was forced to go. A likely story. Last night, as I waited on your balcony, soldiers appeared. They saw me to return to your room and compromise in you. There was but one course open. I took it. Flinging myself upon the soldiers, I slashed and fought my way to freedom. Two I wounded. The rest pursued me. I ran as a hunted beast, dodging, doubling back on my tracks. Until you found refuge in some fair lady's boudoir, I have no doubt. Can my lady believe that having held you in my arms, I could even glance at another woman? If my desperate efforts to save my lady's name bring me to this sorry end, it is best I go. The gods are waiting. As you probably know, there's a price on your head. It would be selfish to deprive an honest guardsman of a just reward. May I make one last request? Make it and go. If my lady thirsts for Cellini's blood, let yours be the hand that severs my head from my body. I believe my lady requested Cellini's head on a platter. Your belief is well founded, Cellini. This is not a platter, but it will suffice. Yes, that should do very nicely. It is fitting that my head rests in a receptacle of my own creation. O oh, death, thy presence is divine. Drop those luscious lips to mine. Those ripe those coral lips of thine. Give me soft a velvet kiss, dove-like, lewd and searching bliss. The captain of the guard, my lady. The captain of the guard, my lady. Benvenuto, my love. Yes, my lady. Give me the book. You will have no further need of it. Henceforth, your reading shall be confined to me. Yes, my lady. It is just as well you know, my Benvenuto, that it is the Duchess of Florence who dismisses her loves. Her loves never dismiss the Duchess of Florence. Bring me that urn. The silver one. Does my beloved know what is contained therein? It was designed for rose leaves, my lady. A long time ago. There was a young and handsome soldier. He was as naughty as he was handsome. I have preserved his heart in there. You would never deceive me, would you, my Benvenuto? Would a man be fool enough to throw away a priceless jewel? Captain! Captain of the guard! We found him at the north gate. He's been stabbed, sir. Who did it? Cellini did it. Sit down the palace! Sound the alarm! Cellini's on the palace grounds! I believe they are looking for me, my lady. What are we to do? We must hide. They'll never look for you in the Duke's quarters. You wait here, my beloved. I'll arrange things without a sound girl.
Come on. While we're waiting the Duke's pleasure, I should like to show you our gallery of art. Now here is a fragment of sculpture by the master. The subject is a young nobleman of Florence. Loud-mouthed young fellow, very disrespectful to authority. It's rather a well-preserved piece, don't you think? Except, of course, that the tongue is missing. Now, here. Here is a real work of art. This, I think, is the master at his best. Ah, I see you're impressed by the master's work. Sir, here's raw material for you. Excellency, the Duke of Florence. The Duke of Florence. Uh, <laughs> so they caught you, did they? You blackguard, you. Good work, Ottaviano. This will teach you a lesson you won't forget. Well, hurry up, go on. Put the noose around his neck. But I can explain everything, Your Excellency. You can explain nothing. You sheep and wolf, you wolf, sheep, you've jumped over your last wall. You, you know what you did, and you did it right under my very nose, What's too. Your go on, string him up. You'll only listen, Your Excellency. I listen to nothing. Well, go on, string him up. There you go again. You're always bungling. Alessandro! Alessandro, wait! Pull him up, pull him up. Wait, wait! Well, just a minute, milady. I'm busy. Yeah. Alessandro, I command you, wait! Open this door. Open this door, so that you put on the rack. Her Excellency, the Duchess of Florence. Her Excellency, the Duchess of Florence. You shouldn't have come down here. It's too damp. You'll catch cold. What are you doing here? Well, I'm just hanging this fellow. Fools, if he hangs, we all shall hang. The guards are dismissed. Oh, no. Uh, uh, I want the guards to remain. The guards are not to withdraw. This is a very secret matter. Oh, uh, yeah. oh well, all right. Uh, the, uh, guards are uh, dismissed. Why are you always interfering? You pardoned this man once. Why are you hanging him now? I can explain, my lady. Be quiet. Who? No one asks you for any explanation. Yes, silence until you're spoken to. Doesn't my lady know that Cellini stole into the palace gardens one night past? What do you mean by that? He came intent on stealing, my lady. Something the Duke holds most precious. And what does the Duke hold most precious? Oh, uh, oh uh, nothing. I mean, it's just a little uh, trinket. You talk too much, Ottaviano. You've got the Duchess all upset. Strange that only this morning, Milady wanted Cellini's life. Yes, that's right, you did. You offered 2,000 ducats for Cellini's head. Why do you object to a little hanging? I have not changed my mind, my lord. I should like nothing better than to see the scoundrel hang from the highest beam. But it is not his neck I'm thinking of, but ours. What have our necks got to do with it? You don't know what I know. I have just learned from my secret agents that the people of Florence are about to revolt. They're incensed over the last wholesale hanging in the piazza. They think you're a butcher, a madman. Oh, but, oh, they, oh, well, they do, but I'm, I'm nothing of the kind. Of course you're not. I know you as a good, kind husband. But we're on the verge of a revolution. And one more hanging might light the torch. Light the torch? Well, this is terrible. Oh, Taviana, why didn't you tell me? The lady seems to have information that no one else possesses. You mustn't listen to Ottaviano. You must listen to me. One never knows one's friends. Why, right in this very room, there might be spies. Now, with a peasant or an unknown, it might be worth the risk. But with Cellini, an artist, the goldsmith... Where are you going to find another Cellini? Another master? Silence, knave. Alessandro, you may use your own discretion. Of course, if you don't mind being hanged, I don't either. The decision rests with you. But surely my lord isn't afraid. Well, that's all very well for you to say, Ottaviano. It's not your neck they want, it's mine. I'd be brave too if it was your neck they wanted. 
Here, uh, unloose him. Take the noose off. I don't know why it is. Every time I want to hang you, something always happens. Why not let me take the responsibility for his hanging, Your Excellency? Yes, that might not be a... No. Oh, oh you shouldn't have said that. I mean, run along now. Go on. Get up. And then you two, run along. Hurry up. I'm sorry I can't have to disappoint you, but I'll, uh, I'll have someone for you next week if I... And you too. Goodbye. <laughs> That's over. But it's not over yet. I'll hang you before I'm finished. Now, go on. Get out of here. Get out of the palace. Go on back to your Angela. My Angela? That's what I said, your Angela. What have you done with her? Well, my lord... Now, I... don't try to deny anything. That's why I was hanging you. Where is she? Angela? Yes, Angela. She's pining for you, my lord, in, in a mountain cabin. For me? For you. Well, why didn't you tell me that before? Well, my lord, it's rather difficult to speak with a rope around one's neck. Yes, well, why did you take her away from me? Well, why did you... you my you, lord, you, I, if you... Now, I'm not going to believe one word you say. I was only acting in your interest. My interest? Yes. I heard that the Duchess was coming to the Summer Palace. At the risk of my life, I entered the palace grounds and snatched Angela from under the very eyes of your Duchess. And again, at the risk of my life, I took her from the palace grounds to a haven of safety. Oh, well, that's very different. That isn't what you told me, Ottaviano. Now go on, run along and get out of here. You, you, you told me there's no, whatever you, yes, why not bring Angela here tonight? Oh, my lord, that's impossible. Impossible? Why? But the Duchess, my lord. What's the Duchess got to do with it? Well, she has nothing to do with it. Well, now. there you are. We're, we're giving a banquet tonight for uh, somebody or other, whoever. Uh, and you can bring Angela here to me. I mean, say that she is your model. Say anything. My lord, you don't know what you're doing to me. I, I know what I will do to you. Shall I take you back and hang you? No, my lord, I prefer not. Well, will you do as I say? Yes, Your Excellency. Yes, well, that's more like it. you greetings from the Duke and Duchess of Milan. We return your greetings and welcome. Oh, yes, uh, welcome, uh, Cavalier Tavitink. Ottaviano well, tells me the great artist Cellini will be present this evening. Ottaviano is well informed. We are rather jealous of you. Cellini's fame is rapidly spreading throughout all of Italy. Part of his fame is due to his versatility. Yes, we're very proud of him. Perhaps the Cavalier Travigi is unacquainted with the fact that Milady is a patroness of all the arts. A great deal of Cellini's work in the future is to be accomplished right here in the palace, under Milady's supervision. Splendid idea! For your own sake, don't be any dumber than is absolutely necessary. You just wait till I see the Duke. When we get in here, you keep as far away from me as possible. The further away you keep from me, the better I like you. Ah, uh, here comes our genius now. And who is that with him? Oh, uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, there he is. Don't do that. Is she waving at someone? Yes, it looks like it, doesn't it? I, I guess it must be Polverino. Yes, yes, she's waving to me. And who is she? Oh, she's a model. Isn't she? Yes, that's it. She's a model. I met her at Cellini's workshop. Yes, they, they, they both look a little uncomfortable. Perhaps I better put them at their ease. <laughs> mm. Perhaps you should. Hello, Bumpy. Shh, not here, not in public. I think you'd better introduce us. Ah, uh, uh, Your Excellency, my model, oh. Angela. How do you do? Welcome to the palace. <laughs> oh, this is so silly. Shh, be quiet. Polverino will instruct you in the etiquette of the court. Well, what are you standing there for? You'd better pay your respects to the Duchess. I think she's a little suspicious. Of whom? 
Well, I... of everything. Hurry up. Yes, my lord. Who is she? Surely your secret agents, who know all, must have acquainted you with the lady's identity. Be careful that one day my secret agents don't acquaint you with the executioner. I've been mad with impatience, waiting to fly to you, to touch your hand. Might I ask how you dared bring a common little muddle to this bank? I was forced to. Forced to? By whom? By circumstances, as to, uh, to uh, as, as a shield, to avert suspicion. In the future, my Benvenuto, I will choose your models. Now go, get rid of her. My lady, it's impossible. She has served her purpose. There is no longer any excuse to keep her here. Be rid of her, at once. But my lady... At once. Yes, my lady. Are you having a nice time? <laughs> my lord was correct. The Duchess is suspicious. <laughs> well, yes, it is. It's quite a gathering. <laughs> suspicious of me? She insists that Angela leave at once. Well, why should she want Angela to leave? Yes, indeed. I can't imagine. Well, she's not going to leave. Didn't you tell the Duchess that she was your model? <laughs> Good evening, Chancellor. It uh, might be better if you explain, my lord. Yes. You've had more experience in such matters. Yes, of course. I'll, uh, I'll explain. I'll tell her something. <laughs> My lady, there seems to be some confusion. What confusion? Well, I mean about uh, Cellini's model. Why should you want her to leave? Why shouldn't I? Well, oh, you should, uh, oh it just can't be. Why are you interested? Me? Oh, why, well, why should I? It's Cellini. She's not just a model, you know. Oh, isn't she? No, she did. Didn't Cellini tell you? He did not. Oh, well, she's more than just a model. Oh, is she? Oh, yeah. as a matter of fact, they're in love. Oh, they are? Oh, it's been going on for a long time, and they're going to be married. They are. But I wouldn't mention it if I were you. You really should have told me. I tried to explain, my lady. <laughs> it's no use, Ben Luto. You can't keep it a secret any longer. Keep what a secret, my lord? Oh, you know. I, I told the Duchess all about it. Yes, you should really learn to guard your secrets more carefully, Julie. What is the secret, my lady? Oh, well, now, come, don't be bashful. I told her about you and Angela being in love and all that. <laughs> but, uh, my lady, uh... His Excellency has made a mistake. I am afraid that you are the one who has made the mistake, Cellini. But surely, my lord, you... I, I was only jesting, my lady. Yeah. Well, there's nothing to jest about. I mean, marriage is a very serious matter. And you could be... Uh, you, besides, you're placing me in a very peculiar position. Yes, my lord. Yes. Well, I forgive you. Here, come here, Angela. Don't forget. This is Milady, Angela. Yes, Milady. May the Duchess of Florence present her felicitations. What, Milady? Yes, yeah, she, she's a little nervous. Mm. Well, I hope you both will be very happy and lead a contented life. And a long one. Yes, Milady. This is not to be an ordinary banquet. It's to be a wedding feast as well. Shall we dine, my lord? Uh, yes, I think it'd be very nice. <laughs> I have little to make me comfortable, my lady. You shouldn't be embarrassed by royalty. You've been entertained in palaces before now. There are many places in the palace where one may be entertained, Ottaviano, including the dungeon. Oh, yes, my lady. 
Hmm, jelly. How like the men of our time. May I offer you some? Hmm? No, thank you. Delicious. Oh, attention, everybody. We have a great big surprise. Favors for the ladies. <laughs> oh, a lovely necklace. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> oh, it was candy all the time. <laughs> My own idea! You should always laugh at the Duke. It's court etiquette. I'm afraid my appreciation of the Duke's humor is not as great as yours. Well, you might try to be a little cheerful. It's your own wedding feast, you know. The wedding was not of my making. Of course. Marriages are made in heaven, aren't they? There may not be a wedding. There may not be a wedding, my lady. True. There may not be. Alessandro. Alessandro. Yes, my lady. What entertainment have we this evening? Oh, there's something very special. Uh, what is it? Uh, what we, oh, yes. Uh, some gypsy girls or something, they do a dance. It's called a uh, dance of death or something silly like that. Ah, even our entertainment is appropriate. Bring on the dancers. <laughs> with wine of a better vintage. Steward? I am afraid. A toast! To the fairest, the loveliest, the most beautiful woman in all of Florence. Wait, 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 wait,
Oh, 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 oh. Who, who dared do this to me, the Duke of Florence, in front of my whole court? Oh, to petition with the court, with you, with everything. Oh, you, you're not going to rule this court any longer. From now on, there's only one Duke of Florence, and I'm it. I've been suspicious of you for a long while. You're going to pay for this with your head, milady. I have a witness here to bear me out. Ottaviano, you tell me, lady, that... See what you've done. The only cousin I had left. He was all right a little while ago, and now look at him. You're going to be punished, both of you. I'll, 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 I'll have you torn uh, under the. Uh, when the, I'll put you in. I'll boil eggs under your arm. I'll soak your feet in goats in, uh, in you salt. You mustn't get excited, Bumpy. What? You, uh, you might. You might get apoplexy, Bumpy. No. Sh <laughs> Bumpy. Bumpy. Is it? I begin to see the light. Oh, uh, uh, what light, my lady? So you're going to have my head, are you? Oh, well, anybody is likely to get excited. So there's to be but one Duke of Florence from now on, is there? Oh, I never said anything of the kind. If you can joke, I don't see why I can't joke, too. Oh. <laughs> Well, if my lord offers no objections, I think I shall return to the Winter Palace tonight. Uh, me object? Oh, no, of course not. Perhaps it would be best if I took Cellini with me. There's a new fountain needed in the courtyard. He should start work on it at once. Oh, uh, yes, of course. Good night, my lady. Good night, my lord. I, uh, no, I was, I meant, uh, I was, oh, yeah, uh, good night. <laughs>